Take her. I may not understand a whole lot, but I know we both are hustlers. Working as domestic staff to a divorced woman because we could not get something to engage ourselves in. Kenneth, is that how you see yourself? Well, if that is how you see yourself, I tell her, I see myself differently. And I know I can never be a hustler. I will not respond to that, Tega. You hate me. You don't like me. Everything I said does not make sense to you. It doesn't. Kenneth, where is this coming from? I have never had any issue with you. How can you possibly accuse me of not liking you? Because you don't like me. You feel I'm blocking me from something. And that's because you are doing something bad. Why do I have this feeling that there's a bad blood between you two? I do not have bad blood with anyone. I'm just minding my business. Baby, is he saying the truth? Yeah, he is. We are simply trying to catch up as guys working together. He's right. You were saying something, Tega? Yes, ma'am. Shouldn't I be worried? Excuse me? I saw the way you looked at him. You have slept with him, haven't you? Tega, what's your business in my personal life? Both, ma'am. Tega, you know the truth. Yes, I do. Tega, because you managed to give me orgasm once in a while doesn't mean we are dating. I mean, I can't descend too low to, this, to date a boy like you. Now, let's get this straight. Tega, you work for me. You don't have any business with my personal life. I have the right to date whosoever that I want to date. Do whatsoever that I want to do. You don't have any right to question my personal life. You don't. No. Please. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. I'm clear. So that you're good at what you do. Thank you very much, ma'am. And I do not want to sack you. Don't give me the reason to. I beg you. Have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulo no mana. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and natural. Yakotoba. Mom. Here is it. What was that? What was what? What were you playing with, my friend? 
Oh. She likes you, right? I thought she was waiting for you. She wants you? What do you mean? She likes you, yes. Even the blind can, can see that. Oh, well. I don't understand what you mean. She is not going to have you because I am not done with you. What is it, Martin? What is it to happen? I said this? what I said. And the body wants what the body wants. I cannot help it. Martin. Can I have Martin now? So are you joining me in bed tonight or not? I need you in bed tonight. You should have seen the way she looked at me like I was some predator trying to prey on her favorite toy. <laughs> <laughs> but of course you are. You know who Claudia is, don't you? So, are you saying she could have done him already? The question should be, why isn't she letting him go like the others? Maybe because he's good in bed. I mean... She drops them like they mean nothing to her. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You know, I am still thinking how and when did Claudia, the all around Christian, the almost Virgin Mary in the circle of our friends, became this wide and I don't even know what to call it. Dorothy, you know she was never like this. Jane, you're not the only one contemplating it. I mean, back then, she used to be very quiet. She was always on her own. Yeah, I know. Always in church. She was even in the choir. I really don't know what happened to her. I don't know. I think life happened. Life. She got the real taste of life. I couldn't stop. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I still get money from her when I need it. So whatever she wants to do with her life, that is her business. It's not mine. It's your business. Don't say that. She's our friend. I beg you. It's affecting us. It's affecting me. Like the saying, show me your friend and I'll tell you who you are. Yes. That's why I'm concerned about her. You have a duty towards her. Please. <laughs> you really have a duty towards her. Jane, I beg you. What's my own? No one ever sat me down to advise me. I remember back then, her mom used to say all sorts of things to me. She told me how I'll end up being wayward. Now what is happening? The reverse is the case. Dorothy. Don't Dorothy me, please. I want to change my cutters. Do you have me color? Dorothy, she mm -hmm. needs help. Don't Dorothy me.
probably send some money if I do at all. Queen of Slot and her conniving friend. Well, like I can see he's really taking good care of you. Why won't he? That's what he usually does. And then later he'll just put you aside because I know that will happen very soon. Claudia, stop! Stop this! Mm. Who are you trying to engage in a conversation with? Me? This will not take us anywhere. Who told you to not? Because I'm trying to engrave my eminent importance into his heart. And that will happen. Alright? And you? How long do you think he's going to keep you around before bringing the rightful owner of that house and his heart? How long do you think that will happen? Listen, I see what you're trying to do. You're clearly seeking for attention. One you are there in need of. But you know what? I promised my husband that I was going to stay clear of all of this and let him handle his ex-wife. Sorry to bust your bubbles because that is exactly what I am going to do. Wait, wait, wait. Did, did you see ex-wife? I am not his ex-wife. I am still his wife. And that clearly makes you the other woman. Rather, that's, that's exactly who you are. Yes. I am his wife. Trying to convince yourself on me? L listen, Millicent, I am still his wife. You better get that into your head, and that will never change. Not anytime soon. Bitch. Claudia, that is a Your great here. Do you know something about cheating husbands? They will always come back to their wives. And I'm sitting patiently waiting because I know that will happen very soon. Nothing is going to change that. You still remain. Queen of Nature, get that into your head. I be bad egg, I agree. If you do anything at all, no, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh, I love to raise dust, I love to see people in pain. Do you know that you are a devil's incarnate? Do you? Just look who's talking. Look who's talking. What in the world did Millicent do to you? Because she did not steal or take anything from you. Obviously, no. You are the one who ruined what you had with Clinton. So what does she do to you? Oh, you just shut up. What do you know? You know nothing about what happened between myself and Clinton. You just shut up. Okay? Keep quiet. I don't think so. I know too well. I know enough to know that you are an insatiable dog and Clinton left you. In fact, he already divorced you. So why won't you let Clinton and Millicent have peace? Why? You know, I used to think you're my friend. Now I know that you are just a... Uh... A two-faced timing bitch. I don't know if she knows that when things go wrong, you are just going to get up and let her go through it. Does she know? Claudia, you know nothing about me. Absolutely nothing. And she will be the bigger fool to think that I will stick by you after knowing what I know about you. Listen and read my lips very well. I, Dana, will not stand and watch you hurt Millicent or Clinton. Ever. Dana, you're a bitch. You're a bitch! I don't care what they think. 
I don't care what they say. Wapulo no manya. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Babe. Okay. Is that the one? Is anything the matter? Something happened? Clinton. Yes, babe. I know I told you that I am not going to interfere with this ongoing battle between you and your ex-wife. Oh, yeah. But God be a witness that I have been trying so hard to stay clear of her and her troubles. But I have just had enough of her gloating and guarding at me at every chance that she gets. Did you run into her? Really? Did I run into her? Is that what you're going to ask me? Clinton, who else is going to get me all worked up like this if not her? Take it easy. Okay. What did she say to you? Does it matter what she says to me? Does it? Because you and I know that she will always say something that will get me all worked up. Next time that she sprouts at me with her nonsense, I swear to God, Clinton, I will so deal with her in a way that she will not recognize herself the next okay. day. Okay, I'm sorry, baby, calm down. Sweetheart, don't, don't do anything out of character. No, 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 please. No, I am done. Yes, I am done. What is it now? I'm not the one who ruined her marriage with you. Tell me, am I the one that told you to divorce her? No, 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 no. I am done. Clinton, I am done. Please. No, let's even talk about it. Am I the one that ruined her marriage with you? No. Am I the one that told you to divorce her? Clearly not. I wasn't even with you to the end of your divorce. So what is it? Why do I have to be called Queen of Snatcher? What? She called you that? <laughs> oh, please, Clinton. What? Please, let's not pretend as if she has not called me more disgusting names. She has called me worse names than this in public for people to hear, see. But if she thinks, Clinton, that I am going to stand still and do nothing about it, <laughs> then she must be the joker of all ages. Please, baby. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life I go for what I want Anyhow any You know the issue here is nobody is seeing the main problem And the main problem here is It's Millicent That lady is just a nurse That I paid to take care of my husband how can she come in and think she's, she's the main woman of the house? How can she do that? And you all expect me to leave her? You don't li you, 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 would you listen to me? My name is Claudia. And I do not take nonsense. It's either that woman leaves on her own or I will run her out of the city. And it is what it is. And I mean it. <laughs> Anyhow I want, I go live my life. Mom. What is it? You really need to come and attend to your ex. He's outside and very angry. What is it? Why? What's your problem? I ask you. Why? Why would you insult my wife? 
Why would you even think of belittling her like that after everything that you've done? Claudia, what is your problem? I see. So she has already come to complain to you? And there you are. What did you come here to do? To beat me up? <laughs> Clinton, come on. Let me watch you do it. No, beat me, Sammy. Listen to me. Don't think that me being calm and excessively understanding is a sign of weakness. You see? The stupid stunt that you have just pulled the next time you try it. <sighs> you don't believe what I would do. What to would you? you do? What would I do? What would you do? What would I do? Oh, yes. Because you did not do anything when I, I put your business to jeopardy. You did not do anything. You did not do anything when I sent my boys to call them money from your tenants. You couldn't do anything. So, what are you here for? What can you do? You cannot do anything because you are. You are just a pussy. You are an idiot. That's who you are. That's right. Yes. That's right. You see, all that time that you pulled all that stunt, I knew about it even though you lied through it. All that I can take. But you insulting my wife, that I will not take. Claudia, you and I are divorced. We are done. Understand it and leave me a mind alone. I will. But you see those papers? I did not approve of it. And who cares? I didn't even sign it. Who cares? You intentionally decided not to show up at the last hearing. Why? Because you're looking for who to string along and drag this whole thing till infinity. But not everyone is as stupid as you are, Claudia. I have moved on with my life. I'm happily married to my wife. You will not repeat this nonsense again. Try it! You try it! What would you do? You try it! What would you do, Clinton? Claudia! I will not let you happy after ruining my own happiness. You would not go scot free. After ruining my happiness, you remain my husband. And my husband, you will remain. And so shall it be. Um. Mom. What are you doing here? I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I... He's dropping on me No, my head. no, I, I heard voices. Really? Is this your job? Or do you want to add gossip to your resume? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. Really? No, 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 because I can gladly add that to your recommendation, no problem. I'm sorry, I, I heard voices. That's none of your business, you're supposed to be preparing lunch like you should. Yes, I, 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 I am done and I was going to call you already. Yes. Glad you have. But I've lost my appetite. Okay. okay. I think I need something else for lunch. I don't care what they think. I don't care. What are you waiting for? You need to come and get me to where I need to be right now. I know how mad you are right now, but I am here to urge you not to let whatever she said get at you. By the way, who is Claudia? A whore? A useless nymphomaniac who has not managed to resist one man in her life? <laughs> that fool should not get at you. She should not be able to make you mad. She's not worth it. No. I'm leaving. Um, Dana, thanks for coming. And I'm very sorry with the way I left. I was, I was 
father's best. But that is exactly what she wants. Get into your skin, force you to do what you don't do naturally. Sweetheart, you, you have all it takes to resist her. You can. Right? Thank you. About to quit. But love say no. Close to giving up. But love insists. Instead of hatred. You fucking bitch. We have enjoyed everything I've done for you, and this is what I get. A three months advance salary. And a work revocation notice. At least if I've done right by you, I deserve to be rewarded generously with amazing grants of sex. Not this. Can I? Kenneth, you're just an egoistic son of a bitch, aren't you? Says the woman who has been beating on her ex. And I've forgotten what to have fun look like. <clears throat> so, what were you saying? I'll just get my stuff and leave. I will see you. I know exactly what to do. Are you still? Am I discarding? Man, chill, eh? calm down. How can I be calm? Would you be calm if you wear my shoes? Don't tell me to calm down. How can I calm down? She's been harassing my wife. Over and over again. Amazon has been dealing with it, thinking that playing it cool would, would fix the situation. I know, man. I know. I know. Please. But you know she called her a slut? No, she called my wife a husband snatcher? What indeed she's been the one whoring herself around town. She can't even hold a candle close to my wife. She's got nothing on Millicent. See, man, you know that this is what she wants. Rye you up, provoke you, and you get into a, a, a mess, and the consequence you get to face for the rest of your life, and the worst scenario, you, 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 you deal with her, she gets into a, a mess as well, and you end up paying for it. Don't fall for it now, please. That won't even happen because I cannot stand being in the same room with her. So. Then please don't fall for it. Because she wants something, she's seeking for something, a reaction. Oh, don't because the reaction is what she should get. The reaction is what she would get if she does not stop harassing my wife. What is it? See, man, I have a plan. You know you said you don't want any interference with this matter. I think it's high time we involved your mother into this. What? Here. Oh no, don't do that. No, 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 please, no. Yes, please. No, no. Okay, listen. See, your mom is a very influential woman. Miss O'Connor is a formidable force. She is the one that could take her on her. Think about it. No, come on, man. I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a mommy's boy. What a what, run back to my wife that, that I'm having issues with my ex-wife who happens to be a bitch. Yes. Your mom is a mega bitch, no offense. But I think she's a banger bitch and she could deal with that lady. Come on, man, let's do this. My daughter, you have to calm down, okay? Everything will be fine. Mom. Ah, son. You're back. Mom, what are you doing here? Why am I just getting to know what is happening around you? Why? Mom, what are you... How, how, how is it that you're here? You didn't tell me you're coming. What are you doing here, Mom? <laughs> are you okay? This is my son's house. And I can't remember last when I needed to book an appointment before coming to see my son. Uh, Mom, I, I, I didn't mean it that way, but... Uh, is everything okay, baby? What are you doing to my wife, Mom? We are just talking anyway. You're just talking and she's, yes. she's this way? Ah, 
okay. So that. Oh. Are you okay? I know what you are aiming at. That I didn't approve you to marry Millicent. Right? But you went ahead and married her. So, she's my daughter-in-law. I am naturally worried because of her. Just the way I would for you. So can you now tell me what is going on between you and your wife? Despite the arrows, yet we stand. Despite the sorrows. I'm just wondering. Wondering on what was it between you and that wickedness? What are you insinuating, Tega? Are you trying to tell me how to live my life now? No. Because I was told that Kenneth was just a cook. But there is this chemistry that suggested it very clearly to me that Kenneth was more than a cook. You know, you're free to think whatsoever that you want to think, Tega. But be very careful before you bring out the best in you. Jeez. Really? Don't try it. You will push me to the wall someday. And I'm going to set you ablaze. Get out. Now. I don't care what they think, I don't care what they say. Wapulono mana, anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime, anywhere. Until I'm chotty and natural. Yakotoba. Oh my God. Clinton. So this is what you've been going through. And you never told me. I thought you said you had it under control. I, I, I did, Mom. I did. I had it under control, Mom. I definitely had this under control. Just as this past few months, she's been harassing my wife. Embarrassing her the slightest of even in public. Huh? Well, this is really painful. And this is very annoying and painful. But this is not the happiness that I promised my wife. This is heartbreaking, Mom. I know she might not be my favorite person. But that does not mean I should allow her to go through that pain. No. I don't think it's proper. So what's the deal? Are you allowing her to walk? I want her, Mom. And stand it. If I find Claudia close to my wife, Mom, if I find Claudia close to Millicent again, I will not regret losing my cool. I'm going to prison, Mom. No, 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 son. It hasn't got into that. Please, you are not going to any prison. Not even any of the people that call me Mom. No. I can't sit and watch her harassing you and your family. I think I will talk to her. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. It's not in your place, no. I know I might be her least favorite person. That is if I even made it to the list. But notwithstanding, I think I have to talk to her. Mom. I have to talk to her. Mom, this is not in your place. Please. The both of you do not see eye to eye. She might be a bulldog when it comes to you, but when it comes to me, mom, it's different. Let me handle this my way. I don't care what they think. I don't care what they say. Anyhow I want, I go live my life. I go for what I want. Anyhow, anytime. I told you I never wanted to come here. 
Claudia, how long is this going to go on? As long as she'll stop poke nosing into my business, acting like she's a saint when she's not even close to being a, a repentant sinner. Okay, but she's your friend. She's our friend. Besides, I'm tired of this bad blood between you two. It drills me, and I don't like it. As long as she'll stop acting like Mother Mary, we are fine. Okay, thank you. Can we go now, please? I be bad egg, I agree. I fi do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device oh. I love to raise dust. I love to see people in pain. I love to break people hearts oh. Now me be half on the leggy oh. Yeah, but so bad. Thank you. Wow. Many saints. You are so beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've been seeing lots of people here. I've never seen someone like this. Oh, so please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Stop flattering me. Um, truth be told, you do an amazing job here. I know, right? Yes. I am good at what I do. <laughs> and I you told are. you that you will enjoy coming here. <laughs> yes, you said so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is nice. Don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be seeing more of me. Hmm? <laughs> I'm glad I convinced you to come here. So you see? So anytime we're free, you could just come here, change your look, <laughs> change, touch her. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Gati. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Oh, you look good. <laughs> Thank you. What is this natural doing here? And what's this colliding friend of yours <clears throat> also doing? <laughs> Claudia. Watch your language. She's my customer. Customer? It's not possible. Because she cannot afford this place. She wouldn't be here if she cannot afford this place. And besides, even if she doesn't have such money, it's none of your business. That what, doesn't... Is, what is it then? A charity home? Ah, ah, mm, mm, enough. I have had enough of this madness. Claudia, whatever your name is, everyone won't be like you. Yes, I may not have enough as you had when you decided to, to leave your husband's house to frolic around. But listen, Josh and I are doing just fine. Will you just shut up. Keep quiet, you, you, you short rat. I fed you. I took care of you and that's your so-called husband. I know you wouldn't maintain it. That's why you had to click to this snatcher so you can keep leaving of her. Do you think I don't know? Because I know you cannot leave. Enough! Claudia, enough of it. I would not stay here and have you insult my friends. If this is how you insult your friends, fine by me. But I will not allow you insult my friend. Do you understand? <laughs> I know this little slut will talk. No, she will talk. She will talk. Why are you even defending? This is your fellow snatcher. Is that why you who Claudia, you? do not call me a snatcher. What is she saying? Is that not who you were? Snatcher. Home wrecker? Is that not who you were? What, what 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 are you? Is that not is that not? Millicent, I thought we talked about this. Why did you do that? Yeah. I know we did, but that woman has beaten more than she can chew. She was talking to you like you were some filthy rag, and then she slapped me. Can you imagine? But I thought she would hold on until... Oh, until when? She has been calling me different names at every chance she gets. Who knows what next she's going to do if I don't stand up for myself? This is not right. And this is... This is not right. This is the part time to tell you that I love what you did back there. Wow! Your friend! Oh, God! I'm so proud of you. Like, I have not seen this Millicent before this part of... Gosh! Well, that's because I have been trying to keep the crazy Millicent in check. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, seriously, I'm usually not like this. Not until someone triggers that crazy side of me. My friend, she definitely did. 
Indeed. And she deserved it. I am proud of you, Lola. Like, I am so proud of you. But wait, while we are happy and celebrating all about this, what are you going to tell your husband what happened to you here? The truth. Yeah, I'm not going to hide anything from him. What you did, did you just see the way you gave it to her? No, 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 really, because that lady, I've had enough of her. Mm -mm. I have had enough of her troubles. What is it? Claudia got it hot. Wow. Mm. I be bad egg, I grieve. I feel do anything at all. No, just stand on my way. I beg you, hold your hand, device. Oh. I love to raise dust. Dorothy, did you say that? Dorothy, did you just say that? That idiot watched them do this to me. This is why I refused going to her shop. Did you see that? She stood like a statue and watched them fight me? It's not okay. That girl is going to pay for this. She will pay for what she did to me. What are you going to do, Claudia? Just watch. Your own is just to watch me do what I want to do. Just observe me. I love to break people's hearts, so now maybe half on the lady. Oh, yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Now maybe this, so now maybe this, so now maybe this, so yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Yeah, what's over? Everybody, child. Yeah, what's over? Hello, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Mother. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Know, come on. Cheer up now. Listen, I know you do not like me. You now see me as one of those evil women. But that doesn't change the fact that you are still my mother-in-law and I love you so much. I am sure you know the difference between a mother and a mother-in-law. Mother. Mother. Mama, listen, I do not want to go into an argument with you. No, I don't. It's really been a long time that, that I've seen you and it's so nice you are visiting me after a very long time, Mama. I am not just visiting. Mama, please, what can I just offer you first? Please. <laughs> I am not just visiting you, Claudia. I am here to hold a private meeting with you because I am not happy. Can we settle down to it? You want me to do what? I am certain that I spoke English. Or you want me to say it in Igbo language? Mama, he's my husband. Was W-A-S. Was your husband the one The you... one I took care of when things went sour, Mama. I was there with him all through. Picked up his pieces. And I even stood by him. Wow, wow, wow. You did all that? Come on, Claudia. Both you and I know that there is no truth. No close truth at all. You know what? I want you to stay away from my son and his family. Well, Mama, I am not divorcing him. Really? Sweetheart, you did already. Yes. Please stay away from my son. You see the divorce papers? I did not sign it. I did not sign it, Mama. I did not. Not appearing for your hearing. It's as good as you saying good well to the divorce. And it's done and dusted. Claudia, please stay away from my son. You have put so much pain in him. You have put so much pain in him. A lot of pain and trauma. Now as he stands, and as he has had himself again, please 
Stay away from him with his wife. Oh, please. I am his wife. The one he married legally, Mama. Really? He can just throw me out and, and go about the city for liquor with that slut. What? Mama, you, you don't dare that. Do not dare that. My name is Claudia, remember? You don't do that in my house. Don't raise your hands on me. Listen and listen, good. He is my son's wife. He's not a slut. Have I not made myself clear? Now listen. And listen, good. Stay away from my son. Now he's found himself happy again. Please leave him alone. Leave him alone. You have put him into so much pain. It just seems as if you are seeing the trouble. The problem that made him to go off from you for so solid years. Eh? Messing around him and his business. What is wrong with you, Mama? Mama, please. Mama, please, I know you do not like me, but let me tell you something. All you need to do is go back to your son and speak some sense into him. Tell him to come back to me. That's all you need to do. Really? Yes. And you know what and how I want it to happen? You are going to leave my son. You are going to leave him. You are really going to leave him. You have done him more harm than good. And as he stands, let me tell you, if you are not seeing it as a pattern, if you are not seeing it bad as this, eh, my dear, for four solid years, you've done a lot of bad things. And now that he has got himself alone, he has got himself and with his wife, you should allow them to be happy for once. Let me remind you again. I don't even know why you feel back to here. I don't know why you flip back to here, but I want to remind you the stuff I am made of. I am a woman of many sides. If you dare me, if you dare me, you will see the side, the left side of me. Yes. Easy before you break my door. I love to break people's hearts so. Now me be happy in Legio Yakotoba 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 What is this woman up to? Does she really want me to change it for her? Yakotoba Yakotoba Everybody chant Yakotoba Shakwana me be so Look at you. Hmm? Sorry, 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 mm. sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Baby. Hmm? What were you thinking getting into a fight with that monster? Huh? I see what she's done to your very beautiful face. Mm -hmm. See, yes, now have this bruise here. You should have seen what I did to her. What did you do? You would know she barely survived me. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> the tiger. Uh, you had to fight. Uh, I'm somehow proud of you because I never knew you had it in you to fight. <laughs> no, seriously, I only fight for the right cause and the right reasons too. Besides, I've been extending truth hands to her, but she rejected it. It's not my fault. Mm. You know it's not your fault. But next time, please don't get into a fight. It doesn't suit you. You're way too beautiful for that. You know that, right? Yeah. Mm. You know you cannot go to work like this. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I already called the head nurse. Okay. Yes, I sent her pictures and she gave me three days off. That's good. Mm -hmm. oh, very good. Mm. We both use the three days well because I'll be working from home as well. Babe, you can't. Oh, why can I not? Someone has to look after you, baby. Come on, it's not as if I broke an arm or a leg. Oh, well, I'm not going to get myself into that office with my head running right thinking how you're coping with yourself. Uh, let me be here now. Let me take care of you now. So you say you like to be taken care of. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. no problem. 
Until fun next time. What does this woman think? That she can scare me like she used to when Clinton and I were still together? She already had a ton pushing me around and now she has come here to give me ultimatum? Well, I have no doubt that she is a bigger reason Clinton threw me out of his life in the first place. She never liked me. But whether she likes it or not, she will have to deal with my ass for a long time than normal because I am not leaving Clinton. Never. Girlfriend? Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, baby. <laughs> You didn't tell me we'll have a full house. Uh, huh? uh, hi, Clinton. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, you told me it was just her. <laughs> you didn't tell me Josh was here. Josh, oh, what's going on? I did. Ah! Hey, how are you? I'm okay. You good? Mm -hmm. I'm alright. What's going on? Guy, we just got in. And based on what just happened, we just came to see if your wife is okay. Oh, come on, Josh. Nothing serious happened. She slapped me, and for the first time, I decided to put her in a place. <laughs> and you sure did. Mm -hmm. You sure did. It's fine. Uh, oh, well, that brings me to what I had in mind to present to your husband. Oh, really? What is it? What, there's a different angle to this? Sure. Oh, okay. What other angle? I, I was like thinking, yes. Claudia shouldn't be allowed to go scot-free. Mm. I mean, yeah. she slapped Millicent. She assaulted you. And she has to face the rot of the law. Mm. I have discussed it with my husband and he agreed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is ridiculous. One woman's going to another's into a salon and slap another woman. If this is not handled properly, it will repeat itself again. I get it. All right, but guys, take, take it easy. Uh, Josh, <laughs> just, just slow down. Um, from the way you all are reacting, I can tell that you people don't know Claudia. I don't care to know who she is. To know that she committed the crime and she has to face the wrath of the law. Come on! This is exactly what she wants me to do. She wants me to react. That way, the bloggers would feed off my reaction and humiliate my family, thereby insulting my wife indirectly. I understand. Thanks for your concerns, but we have decided to move on. Okay? And silence is what we're going to serve. Okay, please, please. I know I've uh, heard this voice before. But where are the circumstances that brought us to your eyes? Is this what I don't know? Uh, Ichia, my name is Claudia. And you were the one that stood for Clinton when they came to marry me. Oh my goodness. What? You mean you are that young lady? Beautiful young lady we married for Clinton. How come you disappeared? I mean, where have you been? Uncle, I am fine. But so much has really happened in my marriage. Yes, Uncle, I stayed away because I've been trying to salvage things. But things have really gone wrong, Uncle. That's why. I remember you, Cheng Bada, because I know you are the only one that can call Clintons to other. Please. This is indeed serious. I tried all I could. I tried everything I could in my own little way, but you know Clinton. Clinton is so stubborn. He wouldn't listen to anybody. He wouldn't even listen to me, Uncle. I am aware I divorced his first wife. I married another. 
But what I don't know, are you trying to say that the divorce was not well done? Oh, on the contrary, it's, it's not that. You know how things were before he got sick. He got very sick, that abandoned everything, put everything on hold just to be by his side. And on recovering, what did he do? He just threw me out. He threw me out. No explanation, no explanation whatsoever, Uncle. Such a thing happened and you don't know about it? Uncle, I do not know anything. I don't know anything. If my sins were there grievous, why didn't you just put it on, plan, on ground for the divorce? Than going with a popular cliche, irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences, my food. Well, I felt it's not my business to double into a private life of a man. But what I don't know is that why he has not come to tell me why he ended it all with you. Uncle, because he is guilt-trapped. That lady is a witch. She has wrapped him round her fingers. That lady wouldn't let him come for lunch. Wouldn't let him come for dinner. I mean, she's the other woman in our lives. She's the outsider in our lives. Yet, it leaves me at one. <laughs> and you know the most painful part? That woman ambushed me. She ambushed me. She beats me up with her friends. Uncle, just look at my face. Just, just look at my face. What? This is bloody inhuman. Why would she do this? She said, once I'm still alive, she will not have Clinton all to herself. And you didn't defend yourself? What would I have done? I managed to escape from this. You needed to see that they did this to me, Uncle. I looked very awful. Very, very awful. But thank God I, I have good friends, though. Did you tell him? Uncle, how could I have told him? Do you want him to kill somebody and go to jail for doing good? Is that what you want? I did not tell him. She deserves to be locked up in the cell for doing this. On my own path, I will call Clinton. <laughs> eh? If she can do this to you, who knows what she, she will do to him in his sleep? Uncle, please. In fact, I will make her to leave that wild animal. <laughs> I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose my husband. He has so much to live for. Uncle, please, I beg you. Please. Nothing as such will happen. I will never let anybody, much more or less a woman, hurt my godson in any kind. Never. Thank you, Uncle. That's all right. It's okay. I love to raise dust I love to see people in pain I love to break people's hearts Now maybe happy lady Now Clinton Let's see who wins Now maybe this so Why will all this be happening and Clinton don't bother to tell me? Hmm.
Maybe he has a reason he doesn't want to disclose to me. But what is that reason? So much pain and tragedies. Stop it. Stop it. Is, I, I, I don't understand. Is this what I am going to face tonight? Sure. I am tired. Please, I need to rest. What have you been doing? What's that? What is the meaning of that? Where's that coming from? You told me that you were going to Dorothy's birthday party. Because today, indeed, is her birthday. You were not there. Who were you with? What is this? Are you keeping tabs? On Answer the question, woman! Who have you been doing? Clinton, I will not. I would not satisfy your bloated ego by providing an answer to, to that question. Since you have resigned to the suspicions, why don't you just go on and stop making me miserable while at it? I don't care what they think. <laughs> 